Yum, yum. Hello and welcome to this quick tip for Modo 10.2. In this short video, I'm going to be demonstrating the new preview lock feature that was introduced in Modo 10.2. One of the drawbacks of using preview is that it can be really easy to accidentally reset it simply by clicking inadvertently on something in the interface and losing your work. And especially if you're trying to do a final render with it, this can be incredibly frustrating. So the new preview lock option is going to be very useful to avoid any of these accidental resets. So there's a couple of ways in which you can use it, and I'll demonstrate both. The simplest and most straightforward is just while you're doing a preview render, if you're just trying to check your materials or check your lighting, you just lock the preview by clicking on this little icon here. And that means that whatever you do in the interface, you won't be resetting your preview by accident because most of the interface is going to be locked. If you try and click on anything in the shader tree or in the item list, you're going to get an error message telling you that the command is disabled because preview is locked. So there's very little you can actually do in the interface at this point and expand trees in the item list or the shader tree. And you do have some basic options here to save your progressive render or your rendered image. But that's more or less it. Anything else that you try and do, Modo is going to lock you out in order to make sure that you don't accidentally reset your preview. Although one thing you can do is to pause preview just in case you wanted to do something outside of Modo, maybe some image editing in Photoshop or something without having all of your CPU resources being used by Modo. You could pause preview and then do that and come back and resume the preview without losing what you've rendered so far. Now, in this simple lock mode, the first of the two modes that I'm demonstrating, there is one caveat. I have found one way to catch it out, and that is if you don't have render all outputs selected, you can accidentally reset preview if you change the effect to something other than what's currently rendering. So if I change to the alpha output, you can see that's going to reset. And now when I go back to full shading, that has completely reset the preview. Now, if I just unlock it, and I make sure that I have render all outputs selected. And what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and just let this cook for a while with preview locked, of course. And then I'll come back and demonstrate that once you have render all outputs selected, you will not reset preview when you change from one output to another. So I've let preview cook for a little while and you can see that we got a relatively clean render. And with preview locked and render all outputs on, if I now change to the alpha output, you can see that nothing resets as I change between the alpha and the final color output and the shading output. There is also a second lock mode, and this is a hidden mode, which I'll demonstrate by opening a standalone preview window by hitting F8. Now, if you ever use preview to do final renders, which is something that I personally do all the time, this new lock mode is incredibly useful. I currently have draft settings here. I'm not rendering to my final render quality or to full resolution or using all the render outputs, etc. The only thing I've done in advance is to set my convergence to 100% because that is the one thing that this new lock mode does not do automatically for you. So what you need to do is to launch preview and then hold down the control key before clicking on the lock icon. And by holding down control and clicking on the lock icon, what you'll do is you'll automatically set your render size to the final render size, to final render quality, to render all outputs, and to have all of the high quality settings such as draft displacements being off, draft fur being off, etc, etc. And this means that if you often switch between using draft settings and final render settings, you don't have to go through and change all of the settings one by one, which is incredibly useful. And of course, the main benefit, let's not forget, is that you won't accidentally reset your preview render after several hours of rendering. So in this mode, all you've got access to is the uh, option to pause preview and to save and load progressive renders and the images themselves. So that was an introduction to the new lock mode in preview in Modo 10.2.
I hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.